Happy Monday, everybody. We're back, and this is your used gear highlight of today, first one of the week. So today I'm going to go over a ski, a boot, and some parts. And the first thing we're going to do is kind of cover, uh, we don't take as many skis in without bindings just because they tend not to sell as easily. People are looking for boot uh, binding and ski combos. Uh, but we do have some skis that are unmounted. I wanted to talk to you and kind of give you guys a little uh, tip for when you're looking for used skis to mount, kind of some things that you can look at. Because this is a really common question. One, people don't know, can I mount an, a, an old ski, a used ski? If I can, what are the things I need to look for? So uh, first off, this is a 163 K2 full of it, 95 underfoot. And awesome women's ski. You can see these are nice. Again, we kind of always go back. What makes a great tele ski? Early tip rise, traditional camber. This doesn't have a ton of camber and a little bit of tail rise. That's kind of the generalization if you're looking just for uh, basic features in a Telemark ski. So as far as mounting, here's the first thing you want to check out. If you're picking up a used ski, it doesn't have bindings on it is you wanna look and see what kind of hole pattern is in there. So the first thing I notice on here is, I notice that there's four up front, looks like there's five on the back. So the first thing I'm gonna know, this had an Alpine binding on it. So usually if it's a Telemark mount on here, you're gonna either have four holes on the front or six holes on the front and two in the back. And it, from, from that, you can kind of determine, you know, what, what's going to go on there. Basic principle, if it's been mounted once, Alpine or Telemark, there's probably room for a second mount. Um, and it all depends on where you want to mount it. Um, you're going to have to at least go a centimeter from the old holes in order to miss those and not create any um, compromised uh, area that might tear out later on. So... This shouldn't be any problem remounting this. You might even be able to get another mount out of it. You know, you don't necessarily want to, what we call Swiss cheese your skis and just mount and mount and mount and mount. But honestly, most people can get two or three mounts out of a pair of skis without really having a ton of problems. There's always some debate on that, but it can be done. Next thing I wanted to highlight was this Black Diamond Trance women's boot. So this was a really cool boot. Obviously, Black Diamond hasn't made stuff for a while. This is in a 24.5. So I just did a video on the YouTube channel uh, a couple weeks ago about Scarpa's sizing, which starts or breaks on the half size. So a 24 and a half in a Scarpa boot would actually be 24 and a half, 25. Black Diamond's different. Black Diamond a 24.0 Mondo and 24.5 are one shell size. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for used boots to understand the sizing and always go off um, understanding that there are no half sizes. There are half sizes in the liner, but it's really like a three millimeter difference. So uh, this is a 90 flex boot, uh, three buckle with a power strap, nothing too crazy. It's not too high. It's a pretty soft flex. They rated this at a 90 flex and uh, really good boot. So one other characteristic of black diamond boots, here's a random fact for you, just in case you do get this. They, uh, some of them don't come with three pin holes on the bottom. I believe the, the trance and the, and the seeker and the men's boot have three pin holes. Uh, but as you get into the push and the custom, uh, they do not. And the stiletto, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, I don't think it has holes in it, but that's kind of a random fact. Not a lot of bindings are going to require that. A three pin hard wire from uh, Volet would really be the only cable binding unless you are going with a three pin. But random used gear fact for you for the day. Along the black diamond lines, I wanted to point these out because these have been sitting here for a while and I'm actually kind of surprised because these are the ridiculously stiff cartridges for the 01 and the 02 binding. 
These are hotcakes, people, and they hold a lot of value. They're kind of a cult classic, like a lot of stuff, and we've got a set of them here. These are uh, ridiculously stiff, large 0102. Uh, as far as those bindings go, the 01 and the 02 are not made anymore. We carry quite a bit of used parts. Right now, I'm working on getting all the used parts back up on our website. Unfortunately, when we changed our website platform about a year ago, the way that our parts were listed didn't really transfer over and it's been a long haul trying to get that back up and running. But soon enough, you will be able to find all your used parts that you need for all your different manufacturers and this will be one of them. Uh, so if you have any questions about used parts, you can't find them on the site yet, maybe I haven't gotten to them, you're always welcome to email us and ask us for specific parts, whether it's uh, for G3, 22 designs, all the way back to rainy designs, super loop, that kind of stuff. We got it all. Thanks for checking out your used gear highlights of the day. You can email us at customer service at freehealthlife.com and uh, you can always message us there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can or you can check freehealthlife.com in the used gear section for these items. Thanks a lot for checking this out. Hope you have a great week.